Uh, welcome to the second part of the tutorial on how to connect to Amazon Cognito uh, using OpenID Connect from a mobile iOS app. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to Xcode and we're going to create a new project. Let's just uh, use the first uh, template and we are going to call this iOS app so this is the iOS app client and we are going to save it right here ok so right now I have basically a blank uh, app first thing I am going to do is just that I am going to add uh, a pod file. So I'm gonna add a pod file where I'm gonna be able to put my uh, dependencies. So there is an empty file here, and let's call this. We have to call this pod file. Let's save it here. Let's go ahead and actually put our dependencies in this pod file. So this is all you need. So uh, you need to go into the folder where you have your project. In here, ls. So here's my pod file, as you can see. So I just need to type pod install. Assume you already have the pod installed in your computer, by the way. And I mean the pods, I'm talking about the Coco pods. So now I have my dependency installed. So what I need to do after that is to reopen the project. So right now <coughs> I actually opened the project but I want to open the workspace. Actually I'm going to close the project first and then I'm going to open the workspace. So here it is the workspace. Notice right now that I have this project right here and I have also this project, the CocoaPods, which is part of the workspace. This file actually doesn't need to be here because it is the same as here, so I can just delete the reference. This is very important for of this file on the top as I don't need it. So now I need to go to the app delegate and inside the app delegate we are going to configure slash initialize the amplify sdk so to do this i'm going to paste this code first of all the amplify sdk will be configured like this and we also need to import the amplify sdk and import the amplify plugin so at this point my project should be able to build uh, we are going to go to the main storyboard and in the main storyboard we are going to create a control that is going to allow, allow us to connect to sign in, to sign out and also uh, be able to tell if we are sign in or sign out so the first thing I'm going to do is to add a control the control is going to be a button and the button will be on the it can be in the middle really I'm going to put it on the top I think it's nicer that's usually where you find the login logout buttons so it's going to be on the top right and by default we are going to write the uh, login ok and we will need to connect this to the corresponding view controller so I'm going to control drag here is going to be a login button as an outlet and also I'm going to add control drag this time it's going to be an action, it's going to be touched touched uh, login for example ok, 
Okay. All right. So after that, uh, what we want to do is that when we actually launch the application, we want to be able to check if the application is already sign in or sign out. So in order to do this, paste this function right here. So this function actually will just allow us to initialize uh, the AWS mobile SDK, which is part of the Amplify SDK. I need to import first uh, the Amplify SDK should do. And if it doesn't, I'm going to import the specifically the AWS mobile client. All right, so also I'm going to close this windows, but I, because I don't think I'm going to need it anymore. And so right now, once the application start, we're going to call application view did load, and then because we called view did load, we're going to actually initialize the mobile SDK client. We also need to define this. So to do that, I'm just going to paste this code right here. So basically, this is a code that actually check if I am signing in. And if I am signing, actually the username of the sign-in user, and if I'm not, it will show the login string. I also need to define this one. I'll paste this code right here. Basically, uh, this is a closure that's going to be called, and basically this is a short version of this one. So the other function that we will need to define is sign in and sign out. So let's start with sign out. So sign out is basically uh, amplify putting the sign out and then on completion, you're just going to uh, refresh whatever is inside the button that we have defined right here. For, as a, for the login, we're just gonna paste this code. So this one is Pretty much the same thing. So we are going to call sign in with web UI. Don't forget we are we are trying to log in using a hosted UI. And then at the end again we are going to refresh the button depending on what it is that the new statue that we have. Alright, so then again what I'm going to do is in this case, if the user actually touch the login button, I want to see if the user is signing in, then I think this is a function called like this. If it is signing in, then we are going to show logout. Otherwise, we are going to show sign in. So with that said, I think we should be correct for this file. Now we need to add obviously the configuration of the specific cognito that we are trying to connect to. So for this, I need to define to add two files. I will need to add uh, the amplify uh, configuration JSON, and I also need to add to add the AWS config JSON. So. Right, let's start with the first file, which, going, which is going to be the... I'm going to use like an empty file to start with, and this is going to be called Amplify Configuration JSON. Alright, and then this JSON right here. Alright, so what I want to do is to take this. So this is actually inside my uh, console of AWS Amazon and we are in the user pool and this is the user pool that I'm trying to use. If you come to the user pool, you're going to see the user pool ID. So the user pool ID is actually defined in this place right here. And now the application client is the one that we have defined, which is this one and you can see uh, the client ID, this one that's going to be selected right here. 
and uh, the other thing that is actually important is the callback so the callback I think it is defined it's defined settings right here okay so here we go so it's defined right here so this is a callback once I'm connected or whatever I do that's going to call back the application is going to call this one the only one that is di different that is for the sign out and this is this one is right here so if I come here you will see that there are defined one here and one here uh, the web domain has also been defined before so all of this has been done in the preview tutorial where we, are, we were actually created this one so I urge you if you want to see how we do this just go back and see the first part of this tutorial but for now what I'm going to do I'm just going to duplicate this file and this one is going to be AWS configuration.json very important that the name is actually correct exactly the same content okay so the other thing that we also need to do is to go inside the info playlist and we want to add the schema like this so if I actually unfold this code the only thing that is actually important in this case is the my app the first part of the callback that is defined right here all right so let's uh, run and build and see how it goes okay here it is so basically show me the login because I'm not logging which is expected so I'm going to click here to try to log in right away all right so you have this warning that said that you are trying to log into the amazoncognito.com which basically represent this web domain that is right here and you say yes continue it's going to open the web view and inside the web view we should see the hosted UI exactly what I was expecting important I'm going to sign up so my user is going to be for example muhaye1 because I know muhaye has been used already muhaye for an exclamation mark done sign up okay so I did receive my verification code and 37 confirm account okay so you can see that I'm logged in with my username that I just created so if I want to sign out I just click again and now we have the sign out button yeah so I got sign out so now I know that uh, my application work so I'm going to leave uh, the link to the source code of uh, this tutorial to the description area